Hello and welcome to the final video. I believe this is video number 14. I have lost count, to be honest, uh, in our financing, capital budgeting and investments sequence. And in this video, I will be talking about choosing between equipment of different lifespans. Oftentimes, uh, and what, what I like about this example is, I believe that it's very applicable in our daily lives. Oftentimes, um, you decide whether to buy something expensive that will last you longer, or something cheaper that you last that will last you a shorter amount of time. And sometimes the decision isn't very obvious. So let's say that we have two machines. We have machine A. That will cost you fifteen thousand dollars to buy. Will cost you five thousand dollars to maintain, and will last you for three years. And then you have machine B. That is cheaper. Will cost you ten. Well, since it's cheaper, it will cost you a little bit more to maintain it. but it will only last you for two years. Well, the question now is, which machine do we choose? And also, since all the cash flows need to be discounted, we assume a discount rate of 6%. I'm just using a textbook example. And if we sum up all the costs all the uh, costs that are associated with purchase and servicing of machine A, the present value of the costs will be uh, $28,037. And for machine B, it's $21,000, exactly. So, well, machine B is cheaper, obviously, but it lasts you one year less. How do we approach this problem? We approach this problem with something that is called equivalent annual cost. What if instead of buying each of these machines, I were to rent machine A for three years? And let's say that the present value of my rental payments would be 2837. Again, with machine B, what if instead of purchasing it, I were to rent it for two years and the present value of all my rental payments would come up to 21,000. That is what equivalent annual cost is. Okay, It's essentially, it's the annual cost of renting this equipment rather than buying that gives you the same present value of the cost. Okay, and if the equivalent annual cost for machine A, if the cost of rental year on year is lower, I go with machine A, machine A. if machine B, the cost of rental year on year is lower, I go with machine B. So what is my equivalent annual cost? It's my present value divided by the annuity. Okay. And we will be going through this computation in class because it's quite a convoluted computation. The annuity factor is given to you on page 28 of this textbook, or you can just Google it. Oops, dropped my dry erase markers. The formula is 1 over R minus uh, 1 over r, 1 plus r to the t, okay? So in case of a three-year annuity factor, our r is equal 0 0.06, and our t equals to 3. For machine B, instead of 3, you will have to plug in 2. That's how you get this annuity factor. 
And if you go through this computation, and we will be going through this computation in class, what you will get is this. For machine A, the equivalent annual cost is uh, 10.61. So again, if instead of spending 15 here, spending five, five, and five, if you just were to rent it year on year, you spend 1061, 1061, 1061. With the present value against the same as 2837. For machine B, equivalent annual cost is, uh, what is it? 1145. So instead of 1066, I go with 1145, 1145, with a present value of 21. Well, the conclusion is simple. You go with machine A, equivalent annual cost is lower. Even though the computation process here is convoluted, the concept of equivalent annual cost is extremely useful because it allows you to compare projects, equipment, investments of different lifespans. Again, the idea being, instead of buying, you rent it year on year. Thank you very much for listening. Again, this is my final video, at least final video that I have planned. And I hope you have enjoyed the videos. And I will see you later.